In this video, we'll go over the main topics that do not appear in paper 1HR together with a sample question from each topic. You can find these questions together with a collection of questions by topic on our website. You can find the link to the website in the description of the video below. I have divided the topics into five main areas numbers, graphs, algebra, statistics and probability, and geometry and measures. Let's start with the numbers topic. Direct and inverse proportion is a topic that usually appears, so the absence of these in paper one would indicate that you should revise both direct and inverse proportions. Converting recurring decimals to fractions is a frequent type of question. These questions are usually straightforward like this one, but in November 2021 at Excel surprised us with this question. Go see my video solution to see how I solved it. Standard form is another topic that usually appears in the exams, so expect a question on this, either a simple one or a slightly more complicated one. Another topic that was missing from paper one was upper and lower bounds. In their simplest form, these questions involve a simple calculation, but there was a couple of papers where Excel decided to merge these with trigonometry like they did in January 2022. Moving on to the graphs topic, Although a question on differentiation did appear on paper one, it involved working with stationary points. There was no question on motion of a particle in a straight line where you had to work with displacement, velocity, and acceleration. It has happened before for both papers to have a differentiation question, one of each type, so I wouldn't exclude this type of question from my revision. Here is a relatively straightforward question and one of the most challenging ones for this topic. Transformations of graphs is another topic that frequently appears in the exams. It could be a simple one like this one, or one that involves a graph of a trigonometric function. So make sure you learn the graphs of sine and cos. Questions with inequalities on graphs sometimes appear. You could be asked to describe a shaded region, or you could be asked to draw the lines and shade the region yourselves. Solving equations graphically is another topic that sometimes appears. This involves figuring out which is the extra line you must draw to solve the equation. There was a simple question on straight lines in paper one. I would expect, however, to see another one involving parallel or perpendicular lines, or you could get a question involving a shape like kite, rhombus, parallelogram, trapezium, and so on, so you should know the properties of these shapes. Although quite rare, another type of question that appears is this one, where you have to draw the tangent at the point and find its gradient. Next, algebra. There was a question on paper one involving numeric fractions, but no questions algebraic fractions. You could get an easy one like this one, or a more challenging one, that involves factorizing quadratic. These type of questions usually appear towards the end of the paper. Changing the subject of a formula is a popular topic that either appears on its own or when you are finding the inverse of a function. Other things you could be asked related to functions are composite functions, domain, and range. Note that since there was a question on completing the square on paper one, if you are asked to find the inverse fraction, I expect to see an algebraic fraction. There was a question in paper one involving a linear inequality, but there was not one involving a quadratic inequality. So get ready for this. You might get something similar to that. Proof is a topic that does not appear often, but when it does, it could cause a problem. So better be prepared. The last question of paper one was on the sum of arithmetic sequences. I have seen cases before where a second question appeared, but a simpler one involving the nth term like this one. Simultaneous equations involving two linear equations appeared on paper one, but simultaneous equations with one linear and one nonlinear did not. Note how this question combines simultaneous equations with the formula of the midpoint from the straight lines chapter that I mentioned before. Moving on to statistics and probability, there was no cumulative frequency diagram question, so be prepared for one. 
you could be given one and asked various questions on it or you could be asked to draw one although paper one had a simple question involving the mean a question on combined means is possible to appear in my video solutions i usually construct a table for this type of questions but you can present your answer in any way you feel comfortable also for statistics you could get a grouped frequency table remember when you're calculating the mean you should use the midpoint of each category a venn diagram question with two or three sets could appear that can either involve shading or finding probabilities also the probability question that appeared in paper one did not ask for conditional probability so a question like this could combine these two topics you could also get a question on sets where a venn diagram could be useful finally geometry and measures angles in parallel lines although you rarely get these questions on their own they do appear in combination with other topics there was a question on paper one involving the area and perimeter of a trapezium but i wouldn't be surprised to see another one but this time relating to a sector or any other related shape Circle theorems is one of the most popular topics that might appear on both papers. It did appear in paper 1. If it appears again, I expect it to involve the alternate segment theorem, as the one that appeared on paper 1 did not involve this theorem. Don't forget to take a ruler and compass with you since there was no question on constructions. There are two main constructions that appear in the past papers, either an angle by sector or a perpendicular bisector. Although intersecting chords is not so frequent in the exams, it could appear and sometimes might be a bit tricky like in June 2018. There was no question on polygons in paper one, so be prepared for one. Don't be surprised if they decide to combine this topic with another topic. On paper one, there was a question on areas of similar shapes, but no question on similar triangles. It happened in the past to have both type of questions in the same sitting. Transformations of shapes was another topic that was missing from paper one. Usually these questions are relatively straightforward. So if a question appears, make sure you are ready for it to collect all the marks. In paper one, there were two questions on trigonometry. One was on 3D trigonometry. And in the other one, you had to use the formula for the area of the triangle. I wouldn't be surprised to see another trigonometry question either one with a right angle triangle or one involving the sine or cosine rules these could easily be combined with bearings and angles of elevation and depression vectors the difficulty of vector questions varies a lot you could get a simple one like this one or one of those complicated questions involving lambda and mu where you need to set up and solve a pair of simultaneous equations Remember, you can find the PDF file for these questions on our website. Check the description for the link. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, please like and subscribe to our channel.